Hi guys, it's Mary. Welcome back to the channel. It's time for yet another installment of Empties. Knock it off. First up, yes, it's the monthly joint bursts. This has worked out pretty good for NeoCell. <laughs> they sent me this product months ago and I loved it. It helped me with my pain, got me down to one less pain pill a day, and I've been having this every single month at since you guys most of you have seen it but if you're new to the channel like this paid off for them because i'm their best customer now <laughs> you might be new are you new have you never been here before hit the subscription thing down there will you i think you'll like this place i hope you do anyway <laughs> anyway so yeah every month I go through one of these it helps me a lot yeah so much so that I thought I was superwoman at the grocery store and sent myself to bed for four days straight um, I've started taking something else cross your fingers I'm in hopes that I will at least be able to knock my pain pills in half I don't want to say what it is yet because it might not work okay but this does and I feel it when I don't take these so, yes. This come from the Dollar Tree. If uh, I'll link a video where I was talking about this. This is what I use instead of Thermacare's heat activated wraps. I use these instead. Uh, I know it shows on the shoulder, but I pull it down around my waist. I'll, I'll try to link to that part of the vlog so you don't have to watch the whole thing in case you're not a person who loves vlogs. So I buy this all the time and I don't buy it just one. I go in there and buy like 10 to 15 of them at once. I went through a can of Big Sexy Hair Hairspray. I, I really like this, but I really like the price because my favorite one now, thanks to the Wind Fairy, is Wynn's. It's not a hairspray. Wynn doesn't call it a hairspray. It's got healthy benefits to it besides holding your hair. Uh, the win is to die for, but it's $40 a can. I know. So this is what I use in between. I do have a big can of Alterna's working hairspray, and I really love that too, but that is even kind of expensive for me. So I think that price-wise and quality-wise, you can't really beat the big sexy hairline. So I use a lot of their products. This is the empty box of Shringes. This is the Smile Deva. This was sent to me. I'll link that video in case you're interested that I use to whiten my teeth. This is all gone. I kept the light. It's put up for when I order this again. If you watched my first um, Shop My Stash product review video, you would have already seen this. And that is the Physician's Formula Universal Brow Pencil. And I love it. On this end is a highlight and on this end is the pencil, which seems to be universal because it's too light for me and yet it works perfectly and I really, really love it. Unfortunately, I won't buy this again though unless it gets like on a half off. Uh, buy one, get one free or something like that because this pencil goes by too quickly for $14 for me and this is where it ends. So that's sharpened as low as you can get it. As you can see, I've broke the pencil sharpener trying to shove it in there and, and, and do it more. I went through one of the cans of Nivea Skin Firming and Smoothing and I'll link the video where I talk about this, and so I'm not gonna go into the big thing about it. This is my empty bottle of Kakei, or Kakai, however you wanna say it, Naturals Oil. So I love this stuff. I use it on my neck the most, but you know, a few nights a week, I might bring some a few drops onto my face. I've never used rosehip seed oil, but they say it is more potent than even rosehip seed oil which is really good for your skin if you don't want to use Retin-A. So I don't use Retin-A. I use other things, and this is one of them. Okay, this is the Hard Candy uh, Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer Mist 12-Hour Spray. It does wonderful as a primer and a setting spray. I love this stuff so much that I went and I purchased this one. It's the Brightening, right? And it has uh, it's a setting spray with vitamin C and rose water. This is full and I'm throwing it away. This was making my skin feel dry. 
This one doesn't make my skin feel dry. This one does. So I went and I wrote card candy and I said, can you please send me the ingredients that are in this and this? And they did. And sure enough, alcohol is like the fourth ingredient in this one. So, and it is drying. It dried my skin and so I won't use it. So no, bad job, hard candy. This one here doesn't say alcohol free anymore on the front. See? So this is the Pacifica Lemon Blossom Perfume. And I very much love it, but I won't repurchase this because, well, it doesn't stick around very long. <laughs> the fragrance is gone in a couple hours and then you gotta spray it again. So you go through it really fast. It's not junk though, so. It just goes in the trash. Yes, of course, this is the best makeup remover on the planet. Okay, so I will have this again and again and again, but only if I get it on a deal because I'm not rich. But if you are, this is Peach Sick Toner, and I can't read you the ingredients because it's all in Japanese or something. But Skin Food has been in business since 1957, and I can't buy this again even though I love and the reason is because it makes me want to drink. We're lucky I didn't try and taste this because it smells so good like peach. Mm. Okay, so I did get concerned about its ingredients because I thought, does this have alcohol in it? The writing on the back is in Japanese, so I don't know. <laughs> the part that's in English tells me how to do it, but you know, there's no ingredients. Okay. So, even though I love this, I'm not gonna buy it again. It wasn't really that expensive. It lasted me for two months and I used it at night and I loved it. Okay, this is the last Pond's Evening Soothe you're likely to see. Not because I don't still love it. It was my favorite makeup wipe. Um, the thing is though, I'm not using makeup wipes anymore. I've been studying Japanese skincare and I've made a few changes in my routine. So I don't take off my makeup with a makeup wipe anymore. And so that's the only reason that I won't buy these again. You know, I probably shouldn't say that because I mean, there could be an occasion like I'm going traveling or whatever that I may, but I doubt very seriously that I will buy these again to just take off my makeup with. A long time ago, I had the Hourglass primer that was uh, the one, I think number nine or something's in it. I can't remember. I'll put what it's called here. It's more like a serum. And I, I used to have that primer and I liked it, but I never knew if I would like Mineral Veil better. So I was trying to figure out if I wanted to purchase Mineral Veil or the one I was using again. Well, I didn't want to buy a full bottle just to find out. And I don't know if I got it in a deluxe sample, if I actually purchased this little one. It's been too long ago to know. I like this one better than the other one that's a serum that they have. I won't buy this again just because I found other primers that I really like. Okay, now I got a couple of cleansers. One's for your face. It would be Purity. I, I did very much enjoy this and I loved the smell while I was cleaning my face. I just really like this a lot. Um, but I have a routine that I think I'm kind of happy with now, so I'm not going to buy that. Then there was this, okay? This is the Beauty Blenders Liquid Soap and I love the Beauty Blender Soap that's solid. I think it's actually called Solid but I don't like this at all. I had to go right in with something else afterwards. It just did, no, I just didn't like it. So my friend Shaz at a Blonde Tea Party, she always talking about the Jo Malone colognes. I loved it. This one is English pear. Uh, then I went to go buy it and went, nope, I can't afford that. So <laughs> bye bye. I finished up a milk Pencil by NYX, love this stuff. Won't buy it anytime soon because one, I have it in a pot too. Um, two, this is considered eyeshadow and I can't buy it. So I'm not going to buy it for the rest of the year, but I really highly recommend that. If you like to give your eye looks a little kabam, just put a little bit of NYX on your lid and then pop your eyeshadow on top of that. See how much more brilliant it gets. If you're not very good at, you know, doing the darker shadows and the lighter shadows and mixing them together, then just take the milk 
pencil and put it here and take the black one and put it here and then put your eyeshadows on top of it and it will do the work for you. Since I had it in my possession, I went through a Too Faced Hangover sample primer. I love Too Faced Hangover, so yeah, if I uh, get to a point where I'm looking to buy a, a primer like this one, you know, which is kind of a lotion kind of primer then I will go for this. Initially, I told you guys, oh my gosh, I have found the answer to reapplying sunscreen over your makeup, and it was the Super Goop. Um, and I like Super Goop. This is SPF 50. It's a setting mist. And so the theory is, you just carry this around with you, and then you take this and you, you spray that all over your face and then you'll have your SPF reapplied it didn't mess up your makeup it's all good but I didn't look on here I didn't see this and I don't know why I just never thought I had to worry about alcohol being in my sunscreen but because this is in a pump like this alcohol is the first ingredient in the sunscreen. I did write Super Goop and they were very nice to me and I told them my concerns and you know they did say that yes alcohol is in it it's because it's in this spray container it will evaporate off before it has a chance to hurt your skin but it also doesn't go on real even. I've noticed that it it leaves like little splats on my face, so I'm thinking probably it's not going to cover good. Initially, I said, wow, I really love this stuff. And then I started thinking about it a little more and decided, so it's a good product. Maybe if you sprayed it like that and then you went and pressed it into your skin, it'd be a better option. But no, I'm not going to use it like that. A MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, or at least as much as I could get out of it. If you let this settle, then you will have about this much down in here. And I have taken, even watched videos where people have tried to show how you can get this off here and get the rest out without damaging the container so you can do the back to MAC. Uh, but when I did it, I cut myself. I broke it and the glass cut me and so I'm not, it's not worth trying to get that bit out of there. This is one of my Stila Magnificent Metals. It's in here because it's dried up. So you can see how much was left in there and it dried up. This one's Ballet Baby and I love this thing so much that I immediately bought two more. I bought the purple one and the rose gold one. But I just gave those to Michelle uh, the other day when she was over here because I'm like, if this dried up, then those aren't far behind. And you know, I like the ones that don't have the glitter in them. You have to use a glitter glue with these and use it sparingly or it will be all over your face. So I'm kind of disappointed in this, Stila. I can't believe that you paid that much for this product and then it dries out halfway through it. So no. Oh, this is the Coenzyme Q10 Serum from Timeless. I use this stuff all the time. I already have a bottle open. I use it every single morning. I use one to two drops on my face and throat. Uh, before I put on my moisturizer. So I really love it. I will buy it again. I went through a secret deodorant. I get these at the Dollar Tree. This is Shower Fresh. This serves my purpose just fine. I don't get a lot of activity, so it's not like a, this can't handle it. You can pick it up at any grocery store, what have you, it's been around forever. I went through a Carmex. Okay, I buy these in bulk. <laughs> I love Carmex. We'll probably always use Carmex. I use it more in the fall and winter than I do in the spring and summer. But yeah, I like Carmex a whole bunch. This was a month of going through samples for me. So I went through the Hibiscus Punch Ulta shower gel and I really like it. I will have to look up how much it costs if it's a lot cheaper than the Bath and Body Works stuff I use, then I wouldn't hesitate to get this. It was very nice. It didn't take a lot to get a nice lather. It smells really good. Hmm, I really like it. This is how much I love this Mad Hippie Cleanser. This bottle was half full and it fell out of the Madison cabinet onto the floor and busted everywhere. And I was like, ah! Oh no! And immediately went and bought a new one. It's got jojoba, green tea, macadamia oil, and orchid extract in it. I love it so much. And so 
I got another one. But oh, I cried first, and my son and my husband came in there and went, what? Because I screamed. I'm like, yeah! And they all come running in there to see what was wrong. And then they both looked at me like, really? Then there's this crappy brush from Morphe. Look at this, guys. (laughs) Okay. I gave my Morphe brush a haircut. This used to be the M433. (laughs) Okay, Jacqueline Hill's favorite brush in the whole world. The one she can't live without. This one is her favorite brush forever and ever. Amen. Okay. (laughs) And there was some stray hairs. So I cut them. And then I thought, I wonder if I can make my own brush. I want to taper it in a little bit here. And anyway, I just kept chopping until this is what I had. Now, this can't do anything. You wouldn't want to do anything with this brush. So am I going to throw that? No, because I'm the reason that it's so... (laughs) But yeah, we're throwing it away now because it's absolutely useless. Now, I won't buy another 433, even though Jacqueline says it's the best brush in the whole world, because... I mean, obviously, I didn't enjoy it that much. I didn't mind taking a pair of scissors to it, but... (laughs) Okay, then last is that Flower Beauty Stick. This is the blush that doesn't hang around. It's absolutely useless. Maybe you want to give it to your kid as a play toy. Here's your play makeup, because they can put it on them, and then you can just go like this and wipe it right off. (laughs) No. I hope you enjoyed that. That was another visit through my trash, or better known as empties here on YouTube. (laughs) What were some of the things that you finished up and really liked? Let me know below. I I really want you to tell me everything that you know, all the way back from when you was just a little kid. (laughs) I'd like to thank you for being the best part of the Fritzy family. And if you're not part of the Fritzy family, then just hit the subscription button below. It's really easy and it will make my day. Yeah, you'll make my day. Make my day. You want to be a part of making my day. Yeah, do that. If you're not having a blessed day, please go out and be a blessing to somebody else. And until next time, love you. See ya. Bye. Well, first of all, this banana is empty. <laughs> the banana peel, it's empty. From the Dollar Tree, heat activated wet wipes. No, no, what? Where does wet wipe come in here? What? There's a wet wipe there. I'm looking at it. I wish I could say that, but no, it's not true. I'm just whack. But, you know, you gotta, mm, mm, you look like a rat. I look like a wrinkled rat. Don't do that. It smells like a tropical tea peach. <laughs> And this is a big old thing of crap. No, don't say that. <laughs> oh, let's do, let's do this water bottle right about now. Some people probably be saying, aren't you a little bit old to be throwing stuff like a child? <sighs> Excuse me. Yeah, so? Bueller. 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 <laughs> I need to quit smoking. I don't smoke. My day. Make my day. You want to be a part of making my day. You can make a rap out of that, probably. Make my day. Make my day. Why is it if you're going to make a rap, you got to lower your voice? Make my day. Make my day. Make my day. Make my day. <laughs> Give me a thumbs up, okay? Okay, guys, that's it. That's all she wrote. That's all, folks.